Energy. Robots love it. We need it. The problem is, everyone hates getting it. Huh? Listen, we burn coal, people get mad. We make windmills, birds get killed. Well, I say phooey, and I solved yet another global crisis. May you say I solved two. I'm still waiting for my first Nobel Peace Prize. Now, how can we do this in a way where we don't need a shit ton of solar panels or placing a bunch of big fans all over this beautiful planet that we have? May I say, Earth, you look rather dashing tonight. Do you do something with your waves? Man, what are you doing with my wife? Get away from my- Sorry. That got a little weird. Eh. Anyways, let's get back on track. So my idea is this. And what is this, you might add? Well, if you don't watch the Big Bang Theory, let me tell you. This is the Big Hadron Collider. And what this can do is it can get a particle to reach about the speed of light. So, all we have to do is take two particles, smash those bad boys together, and we get a small black hole. Then, we get one brave volunteer that will take this small black hole to our beautiful little sun. Once the black hole is combined with our sun, what happens is the sun gets ripped apart at such a magnitude that it would create a river of hot gas that would cascade across our universe and create gamma ray bursts. Oh, why don't you look at that? Gamma ray bursts have the greatest energy output of all things in the universe. This energy output is equivalent to trillions of nuclear bombs being detonated. So, all we need to do is make a big gigantic mirror and have it point right back down to Earth. The only problem with this is, is that it would tear a huge hole through the ozone layer and uh, practically make everyone blind. This problem is easily solved by just giving everyone some Ray-Bans. Alright, so let's recap. So we made energy by destroying our sun, we obliterated the ozone layer, and we made everyone legally blind. Now, how do we catch this massive beam of energy? Now looking at this feat of engineering, it might seem impossible. Unless we had the Hulk. Even the Hulk said it himself that he's impervious to gamma radiation. So, we just make a run to Home Depot, grab one gauge copper wire, shove it up his ass, and connect it to a huge battery, and we're golden. Luckily, Tesla already owns the biggest array of single phase batteries in the whole entire world. And the one battery can capture uh, 350 megawatts. So, all we have to do is uh, make a bunch of these batteries, connect the Hulk up to it, and boom, energy crisis averted. I would like someone to contact the Nobel Peace Committee and tell them I'm awaiting uh, two of my prizes. Anyways, this was Duckett, and thank you for watching.